Hello guys, it's so good to be back to daily videos on this channel after some traveling and today I will analyze a tweet here by Moses who I do recommend to follow and he's very active recently sharing tweet tips about Laravel but in this case I may suggest some improvements. So imagine the scenario that you are trying to find the user by username with a user service and in case of model not found you do try catch and show this blade not found file. I see at least two big improvements here. First, find by username service is unnecessary because you can find username with route model binding and I'll show you that. And also this case of try catch is kind of not the ideal example because model not found exception could be handled in the framework itself in the exception handler in two ways at least. So I will show you those. So I asked my colleague David to recreate that initial scenario and together in teamwork we came up with a few improvements. So this is the initial scenario, user service, find by username searches for the user by string of username and in the routes we have something like this, username. But what we could do is instead use route model binding like this. So pass not the username as string but user model user object and by default that route model binding would try to search by id of the user but you can customize it easily so in the routes web instead of that username you pass user as an object but you can also define this what field to search by and if the user is not found by that username this is exactly what would happen laravel would automatically throw model not found exception so as a result, we don't need to do any of that and route model binding would take care of that for us. So that's the first improvement and we don't need the user service in this case. But then how to process that model not found? In this case, let's roll back. We had user not found as view. We can provide the rules for model not found exception in the file called app exceptions handler in Laravel. In here you may provide a function called render, public function render, which accepts the request and also throwable exception. And we need to call parent render with the same parameter list, which comes from Symfony, so like this. Oh, sorry, I don't need to copy that one. But in case of that model not found exception happening, we actually can check that if exception is instance of model not found exception like this, then we can return view users not found like this. So this is where we actually catch that exception. Instead of try catch, the controller is cleaner and the catch belongs to the exception handler. Or in fact, to properly handle the exception here, it's not enough to return the view. And by the way, we need to return parent render in that case. It's a response view, which needs to also have HTTP status code of 404. So we need to provide that return response view, the file name of users not found with empty array of parameters. And here we pass the status code of 404. So now in the browser, if I load the user that exists, then it shows the data. This is the view, the blade. It doesn't matter what's inside. What I wanted to emphasize is what if the user is not found, then we have user not found, which is exactly the content of users not found blade file here. But even that's not all. What if we can customize that for multiple models? For example, model not found can happen in product model or whatever other model. How do we specify the global not found passing the model name maybe as a parameter? Let's try to do that one step further. So I've created this general not found blade here with this not found text class or general record not found or you can say model not found or something like that and class could be passed from that exception handler if we recognize one of the classes of the models and this is the syntax i've prepared that behind the scenes so again if exception is model not found then which model that exception contains get model method and if that model is user class then we pass the user in a product we pass product Otherwise, the default is record. So we pass that here again with status 404 and the result in the browser we refresh and we have user not found, 
but if we have for the product for example some slug product not found otherwise for example if we didn't have the product here let's comment this out and we'll refresh the default then is record not found so these are three optimizations i suggested from the original tweet first use route model binding with customizing the field to search by then do not use try catch for this simple example and process the model not found exception in the exception handler of laravel and also third improvement customize that processing of the exception by catching the model and depending on that model provide different error message for the user what do you think about those three things have you used something like that what would you improve even more maybe share your advice and opinion in the comments below and also check out the latest premium tutorials my team at laravel daily is on fire while i've been traveling for a few weeks my teammates have published a lot of tutorials specifically for premium so longer tutorials 1600 words 3000 words and more so about php storm about public private images view react code styling and more so you can find all of those at laraveldaily.com for premium members so i encourage you to subscribe on top of the courses already which are also here the latest one on laristan and a new course will come out next week i will talk about that you also have premium tutorials so check out laraveldaily.com and see you guys in other videos